The right side ready. We're ready over here. <laughs> All right. So since everybody's ready, we're going to call this administrative conference to order. We will have our invocation by Councilman Flurry and our pledge by Councilman Epperson. Will you stand, please? Let us pray. <coughs> Almighty God, we give you thanks for this day. We pray, O oh Lord, for our city and for our leadership, for our mayor. God, we lift these up that we'll make good decisions today. We pray now in thy holy name. Amen. 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 Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, gentlemen. <clears throat> Madam Clerk, you may call the roll, please. Mr. Bradford? Present. Mr. Everson? Here. Mr. Jenkins? Mr. Corbin? Present. Mr. Flurry? Present. Ms. Lynch? Mr. Bowman? Here. Thank you. Your presence. Um, tomorrow we will adopt the minutes of our previous administrative conference as well as our um, council meeting of uh, September 13th. This time we will have communications, uh, recognitions, or awarding of. Uh, for our council members. Any council members have any uh, recognitions? Uh, council members? Uh, I guess it falls more in the communications category, but if y'all don't mind, um, I just wanted to uh, thank uh, Latanya Bogan. Uh, Tanya is always uh, so great and responsive, but um, I asked her last week um, to put together a, a list that you'll find in front of you um, that is the neighborhood associations in your uh, respective council districts. Um, what we're trying to do here is the um, MPC uh, has been working uh, with us in the Master Plan Committee to get the, um, uh, the Council of Neighborhoods uh, back activated again. That was an organization that started and was, uh, had some early successes, but due to the na nature of neighborhood associations and the way that they set up their charter, um, they had officers who rolled off of their various neighborhood associations and thus rolled off of the main group. So they stopped meeting regularly and it was a little difficult to maintain it. Um, so there's been a lot of requests to kind of get that started again and so the MPC has done um, outreach to the people that they knew of to try to get updated contact information and uh, Tanya also keeps a list of that as well but we know that no one knows these districts better than the people that represent them so we want to make sure that we um, get everybody's input so if you could look over these lists Make sure that there's not anybody who's been omitted or if there's an incorrect contact or uh, you just know that that person is not uh, the contact person anymore. Um, make that note for us and then we will uh, use these to work with obviously the different departments that also keep these lists in the Shreveport Police Department. Um, the Community Development uh, Department. There's a number of, of departments that have these, but this is just one other opportunity for us to make sure that this is correct information Absolutely. that everybody's working off of. May we have a copy? Absolutely. Counselor? We don't y have copy. Yeah, we'll, um, I'll ask Tanya to print the master list out for you. Each of us just has the list of those that are identified in our district. Okay. And so I'll ask her to print out that list that has all of them and, and share that with y'all in case y'all and certainly what we'll do what we're working towards here is making sure that it's an accurate list so once we have that accurate list we'll make sure that that's disseminated to every department that, that needs it so fantastic thank you councilman and that that would be valuable valuable information for this if we proceed and doing some other things uh, I see some corrections that I'll share with you uh, from my district um, any other communications or recognitions from council members? <coughs> Not uh, Mayor Tyler. I, I just have one announcement today, and we'll have the others tomorrow. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, um, I'm, uh, CAO Crawford, my capable CAO, will be uh, in charge of, of the I side of the house. Uh, I will be traveling to Baton Rouge for the recovery task force that the governor has appointed me to be a part of and certainly we want to be at the table so that we can get some of the funding up here for our, from all the flooding back in March so I'd like to try to get you know any concerns that you have today about agenda items if that's okay uh, we'll be glad to work with you even while I'm traveling tomorrow morning to, to go down to Baton Rouge 
Thank you, Mayor, for that uh, acknowledgement. Uh, I was wondering, uh, you know, we have National Night Out coming up on the 4th. Absolutely. And, uh, and I saw an opportunity to use this list to help solicit uh, groups to our, uh, what are we, we going to call it? Uh, to our crime and violence uh, event. And, and, we, and we have a name yet, but we, we've not finished pull it, pulling everything together. We plan to send something out uh, the next day or two. I won't be here, but we, we've been working on that, and I'm going back upstairs to finish it up. Okay. But it is it's, it's going to be the violence and crime event for right now. It's everybody's business up there. It's everybody's concern. Concern. Yes, okay, sir. Everybody's concern. <laughs> All right, we'll look forward to uh, some more uh, communication on that event coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And we will have um, that um, ready to, dis dis to distribute or disseminate to all of the various um, uh, block party uh, contacts. And I know the Shreveport Police Department is pulling that together so that we can distribute materials between uh, elected officials or between the Shreveport Police Department, between the fire department. We will get... Uh, a lot of uh, flyers out to every one of those block parties, inviting them to come to the event. Good, very good. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Councilman Everson. Um, one more thing, and I just I'm so glad the mayor mentioned that she wasn't going to be here uh, tomorrow because um, I am going to invite these people here tomorrow to um, share with the uh, with everybody. But I wanted to make sure and share it as well, and I'm sure you're aware of it. Um, but there is a group that's putting on. Um, a, a uh, two-day sort of um, seminar in Shreveport called Reform uh, Shreveport, and they are um, a group of uh, people that are uh, concerned with issues about transportation and um, accessibility for um, people who are uh, uh, maybe not a car, <laughs> people who transport, who transport themselves in any other way but a car, um, and how to um, sort of look at our city and, and see potentials with that. And I want to thank the administration for information that they've provided that uh, has been shared with that group. Um, and also, uh, Sportran has, has done a great job of, of working with that group. Um, so they're going to come tomorrow to give a little uh, bit more information about the event that they're planning. It is October 7th and 8th. Um, if anybody wants to kind of jot it down on their calendar. Um, but just wanted to mention it briefly um, and, and thank the administration for the information that they've provided that will help um, these people make some creative suggestions for, uh, you know, things that we might be able to accomplish going forward. Fantastic. Look forward to sharing with them. Uh, okay, are there any other communications from any? Mayor, we wish you a traveling race on your trip down south. Thank you, sir. Be careful. Um, ports, proper standards. Anybody have any questions or inquiries regarding our proper standards? Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. I see none. We'll look forward to visit with you later in the meeting. Um, we received our revenue collection and security bond at our previous meeting, so tomorrow we are here from our master plan committee. Report. Uh, tomorrow, uh, council members, we will have a public hearing on Ordinance 92. That's an right, um, annexation uh, ordinance, I, would, I, I see. Uh, I saw the fact sheet on it. Councilman uh, Flurry, do you, you have any? Let me ask them. Are you prepared to uh, make your opening uh, comments regarding this and six and tomorrow? Sure. Okay. Is any any anything you know? You, you it's know? a pretty straightforward annexation. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the things that Mayor Tyler has always emphasized is not to enlarge the city to the detriment of the city, <laughs> which has been done in the past. Um, this is contiguous to the city property limits. All the property on the north side of Fluent Lucas is already in the city limits, so this will be connected at the Wallace and Flunol Lucas area. That's going to be about uh, 93 new home units in there for phase one. I think it's 127 for phase two, and that's section we'll bring you later on, but that's going to generate about $100,000 a year in property tax over anything that the city will pay. And so those will be new streets, new water, and so hopefully we won't do anything for those for a long time and we'll just collect the property taxes. So it's kind of a win-win for the city. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. And that's in your district council. Any right on the line. Right on the line. Right on the, on the, line. the, on the line of. Yeah. No, all I can say is Mr. Crawford has provided me with details, and, and I'm supportive of it. Okay. The council sheet, didn't we? They do have the. They do have the information I sheet on we, the. We provided you we do. Uh, they a have, sheet yes. with yeah. showing you the benefits mm -hmm. to the city. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In the map, we we we're familiar with all that. We just. I want to make sure that if there was any any uh, issues or questions that we need to clear today, you know, help it expedite it tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Thank you, sir. sir. Um, let's talk about uh, adding legislation, Mr. Crawford. Uh, are you familiar Not with any? The administration is aware of. We have one, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, by Mr. Corbin, I believe. It suspends certain provisions of Chapter 10 and 106 uh, to allow the annual Camp Tiger Chili Cook-Off parking lot of the bus. I didn't want District B to have all the fun. So. <laughs> they had it all. <laughs> <laughs> chili? You said Chili Cook-Off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we love Chili. That's right. You know, District B's action. I know. There's enough, there's enough fun to go around. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no request for comments regarding items on the agenda today. So we may continue with, uh, well, I guess there's no confirmation of appointments. There's not. No. But we can continue with our consent legislation. On consent agenda legislation to adopt ordinances and resolution, resolution 170 accepts dedication of a 60-foot right-of-way for Favor Court and Humble Streets in Madeline's Cove. Okay. Any discussion or questions regarding this introduction of 170? Thank you. We may continue. Resolutions on second reading and final passage are which require only one reading. Resolution 167 accepts the dedication of Zeke Drive right of way in Camp Bow Wow Commercial. Resolution 168 authorizes the mayor to accept and execute a fiscal year 2015-2016 choice neighborhoods planning grant amendment between the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development and the City of Freeport. Are there any questions or discussion regarding 167 and 168? These are both very positive. Mm -hmm. All right. Seeing none, you may continue. The introduction of resolutions not to be adopted prior to October the 11th, 2016. Resolution 171 authorizes and provides for the waiver of permit fees, inspections, and other related fees for the construction of a house at 1613 Rock Springs Boulevard and Stone Lakes Development. Uh, this is being done by the, I think, the Home Builders Association and to be raffled off and then the proceeds split between uh, five uh, uh, nonprofits, Community Development, Holy Angels, The Hub, and Providence House. 172. Accepts a donation from Shreveport Green, the Querbees Park Foundation. Um, that's a $100,000 donation for some upgrades to Querbees Park, specifically pruning and tree trimming of about 350 trees out there. Very Any discussion regarding these um, resolutions? I was at the Stone uh, Lake um, Neighborhood Association meeting actually last month, and they made us aware that, uh, that this project was coming. This, this is one of those. Uh, like the St. Jude homes, House for Hope. House for Hope. Yeah, and uh, they are proud to have it in their neighborhood. It's a gated community, very nice neighborhood, uh, very safe neighborhood, and we look forward to this project coming in. Did you put a estimate value of this waiver? It is. It's fifteen hundred dollars, Mr. Chairman. Okay, and that's you. on the uh, fact sheet. All right. Okay. Any other discussion? Thank you, sir. You may continue. Yes, sir. Introduction of ordinances not to be adopted prior to October the 11th, 2016. Ordinance 95 is the 2016 General Revenue Bond Ordinance. An amendment and restated General Revenue Bond Ordinance authorizing the issuance of time to time, from time to time of water and sewer revenue bonds for the City of Shreveport, State of Louisiana, prescribing the form, the certain terms and conditions of said bonds, establishing funds and accounts relating to the said bonds, providing for the payment thereof in principle and interest, including a rate covenant relation thereto providing with respect to the issuance of senior lien bonds and junior lien bonds and providing for other matters in, con in connection therein. Ordinance 96 is a series 
ordinance number one under 2016 general revenue bond ordinances a series ordinance pursuant to the 2016 general revenue bond ordinance authorizing the issuance of not to exceed 100 million dollar principal amount of water and sewer revenue bonds series 2016b and not to exceed 20 million in principal amount of taxable water and sewer revenue bonds junior lien 2016c of the city of shreveport state of louisiana providing in a notice of intent given by resolution number 152 of 2016 adopted on August the 9th, 2016, establishing certain details of such bonds as required by the 2016 General Revenue Bond Ordinance, approving and confirming the sale of such bonds to a group of underwriters led by Siebert Cisneros. Cis, how do you pronounce it well? Cisneros. Cisneros. Shank and Company, LLC, pledging the next revenues of the city's combined water and sewer systems to secure such bonds, prescribing the form and certain terms and conditions of said bonds, and providing with other matters in connection uh, therewith. Ordinance 97 amends the 2016 capital improvements budget and otherwise providing with respect thereto. This is for the sanitary, two things, sanitary sewer assessment phase one and landscaping project on I-20, uh, specifically the I-49 segments. Ordinance 98 is the first of two zoning cases. This is C-71-16, amending Chapter 106 of the Code of Ordinances. The City of Shreveport zoning ordinances by amending the pub agreement attached to property located in the southwest corner of LAB Road and Fluent Lucas Road, Shreveport, Cattle Parish, Louisiana, Zone B2 PUD, Neighborhood Business Planned Unit Development District with preliminary site plan approval. Ordinance 99 is zoning case number C-73-16, amends Chapter 106 of the Code of Ordinances, the City of Shreveport zoning ordinances by rezoning property bound by Hearn, Westover, Bibb, and adjacent alley immediately west Shreveport, Cattle Parish, Louisiana from R1D Urban One Family Residential to B1 Buffer Business District. Okay, thank you. Uh, are there any questions or comments or inquiries regarding the introduction of these ordinances? Let me... Let me start by, uh, when I first saw 95-96, I was um, a little concerned. I called the mayor, and uh, I love information, mayor, and uh, I, this was unfamiliar with me initially, but then I think uh, the uh, city attorney helped, helped clarify some of my concerns. Uh, but I, uh, again, and you can consider it if you please that that you will have a sector a couple of sectors of meetings to to sort of for us newbies the old guys may may be familiar with it but i yes, this sir. is new to me and i would appreciate it if you would consider maybe having a little session yes, like sir. you did previously like i did and, before and let and allow a couple of council members at Absolutely. a time to come in and sort of uh, enlighten us a little bit more on what this is about Glad to do it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other council members have any concerns or questions regarding these? Did, did the clerk say something? No, no, just sidebar. Sidebar. <laughs> That's the way the lawyers do it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You may continue, Mr. Crow. Ordinances on second reading and final passages. Ordinance 88, levying various taxes totaling 17 and 29 one hundredths mills per dollar of all properties subject to ad valorem taxation within the city of Shreveport for the year 2016 in the amounts and for the purposes described herein. Ordinance 89 levies a tax of 80 of 8 and 55 one hundredths mills per dollar on all properties subject to ad valorem taxation within the bounds of the downtown development district of the city of Shreveport for the year 2016 for the purposes as set forth herein. Ordinance 90 provides providing for the issuance and sale of not exceeding $25 million in refunding bonds, independent stadium project series 2016 of the city of Shreveport, state of Louisiana, prescribing the form, fixing the details, and providing for the rights of the owners thereof, providing for the payments of the principal of such bonds and for the application of the proceeds thereof to the refunding of certain outstanding obligations Ordinance 91 creates and establishes West 81st Street and Cleveland Street as a one-way street from Linwood Avenue to 82nd Street, requiring vehicles to travel in a westbound to southbound direction only, ending at Cleveland Street. Ordinance 92 enlarges the city limits and boundaries of the city of Shreveport for the Flunol Lucas established subdivision development in Section 7, T16 North R13 West, Cattle Parish, Louisiana. That's the Lucian Field States <coughs> subdivision. Ordinance 93 authorizes the Shreveport Airport Authority to dispose of property <coughs> in the 5500 block of Greenwood Road described here in as surplus property. 
and Ordinance 94 authorizes the mayor to execute a lease by a city owned, I'm sorry, execute a lease of city owned property to Planet Aqua Group. Okay. Um, on these uh, second reading uh, ordinances, we have had a chance to review them. And uh, are there any additional questions? Are there any additional questions? Uh, okay. I guess better stated um, for me to remember. Uh, are there any questions that we feel like would prevent a, a vote being that the mayor won't be here tomorrow? Let's ask now or forever hold our peace. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, we, we can't do that yet. <laughs> I mean, I had some questions. I think most of mine are either answered or on their way to being answered. Um, you know, Mayor, uh, I'm sorry. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. No, I, I just wanted to say, and I, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything other than for information that I would ask that, um, you will make the aqua, um, the planet aqua group aware that we are a fair share city. Oh, yes. And that yeah. whenever opportunities uh, afford to, 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 to try to utilize that, that status. We do that with every department just to ensure you, and we had that discussion again this morning. Everybody who does contracting from any department has to keep that in mind. And so that's how we deal with that one. And then we get it by department to make sure that we are all, you know, trying to make sure that we're offering opportunities. I appreciate that, Mayor. I didn't want to mention it to them personally. I just wanted you to make that away with them. Take care I don't want to scare them away. No, no. We, we you, take care of it. We, we take care of it. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, Mr. Crawford, where are we now? We're tabled legislation. There's none coming off the table that the administration is aware of. Is the clerk ain't aware of me? Not aware of any, Mr. Chair. Thank you. We're down to property standards appeals, and we believe we have three today. All righty. Very well. Thank so, you. While he's coming, may I just ask Please, a, a couple of questions? If uh, these ordinances on final passage, uh, I think we've discussed these. I know we have. Yes. But if there are additional questions, I'll be glad to answer those after the meeting today. Unless you want to ask something now. No, I think we're clear. Uh, the council members are clear. If we will, we'll we'll uh, visit with you Give individually. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Our first case today is going to be uh, 3627 Darien Street. seen the case before uh, we now have a new owner mr. Cedric Thomas has sold the property to a mr. Ken Kevin Belcher and what we're asking you to do is to send this back to the property standards board so that we can start the, pro uh, the notification process over with re notify him and if there are any issues then of course he'll be back before you I move that uh, we will accept the recommendation from the um, Private Standard Director and refer this back to the Private Standard Board. Second. We move and second that this will be referred back to the Private Standard Board for their assistance. Any discussion? Yes. Please vote. Only, only um, I probably would vote no, but only because uh, I know Kevin, the guy who bought the place, mm -hmm. and I know that he'll take care of it uh, in a timely manner and get it to where it should be. So, I'm, I'm, for that reason only, I, I, I vote yes. But, but referring it back is is a legal necessity because there's a new owner and we have to start that notification process. Right, right. but I I'm just want to state, he, state he's, that. He's vouching for the new guy. That's Make it. that a part of the records now. I'm going to hold Jerry responsible. <laughs> Is this to the board or just to the uh, property standards office? Back to property standards board. The process. Appeals. Yeah. The process. In the back in the process. Right. All right. Thank you. Please vote. Motion passes. At the 
the extreme, five to zero, two out of the chamber. Okay, thank you. Next. All right. Our next case is 1107 Kimberly. This is a property that came before you uh, two weeks ago, and Mr. Edelin had certain um, tasks that he was supposed to meet. Um, well, that was one task that was predicated on further, right, on right. further consideration. Um, and, and right now, the only thing, um, I can see where the grass has been cut, but it's grown back. Uh, it has not been edged, um, and what's your recommendation on? I would proceed with the demolition. The structure itself. Let me move on a little bit further. It's still unsecured at the windows. So moved. Um, Second. Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Clerk. I was about to say before you vote. Yeah, I was going to offer. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, who made the second? Mr. Everson. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Ms. Everson? Evelyn? Adelaide. Will you come up, please, sir? We are considering oh. your property for, uh, we're addressing your property. You, there was two issues that we instructed you uh, to do for us by the day. One was to get the premise. Uh, okay, I, I hired some people to do things. I paid $100 for a guy to get the stuff off of the roof. Uh, and he also brought a guy that d did the edging. We thought we did all the edging properly. Uh, I asked the city to bring a, a trash can out there, which they haven't done yet. And uh, last time we were here, Mayor Tyler mentioned that she gets phone calls constantly. Uh, it's probably for, from Dwight Bounds across the street that's given me a lot of trouble. He's broken into the house and he's done a lot of vandalism. And, Sir, is that, is that, is that like documented or is that just hearsay? Uh, I just know from from from, from how, years. How do you know? I, 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 I know from years. Of people record, uh, people that live next door testified that he was doing stuff, and and uh, I've just had a lot of problems with him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've tr had trouble with his son. We, I had a little no, dog no, no, that no, ran no, across no. the street, and he grabbed my dog, and he was going to give it to the dog pound, and. And we had the police involved on that. Uh, let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you this now. We we're considering this very seriously. Okay. We ask you for the care premise to be addressed. We also ask you to bring with you today the individual that you claim is going to rehabilitate the property. Uh, where yeah, is he? Yeah. He said he was coming, and I left a message on his machine this morning, and. And he has 20 properties. I don't know why he's not here. I haven't talked to him today. I tried to talk to him, and I left a message. But he will get it done. I tried to get a permit so that he could start to work on the eaves and stuff like that. But they said they needed to talk with you before they'd give me a permit so that he could start. You don't have a permit. Huh? You, don't, you, do not, you did not get a permit. That was the third request we asked you to do. Now, there were three requests. Get, get the property cleaned up. Bring the gentleman who's going to clean up the property, and then have the permit so that we'll know that you was going to move forward with your good faith effort that you agreed to. You said, on good faith, I will get these, these, these three things you, done today. You cut out on me. Okay, you, you, made, you made us somewhat of a commitment that you would get the property clean up, that you would have the gentleman who's going to uh, uh, work and, and, and rehab the property as well as get a permit by today, and and those things have not been done. Uh, I've, I've done, there may be a few little limbs and stuff. There's a big pile of, of limbs and things out front that we worked on. I paid a hundred dollars to do for a guy to do some stuff. I don't know where, why David's not here, but I'll talk with him and, and uh, I, I don't know. He's he's done a lot of stuff for me before, but he's got 20 properties. He's got a van full of tools and stuff, and and he's got some other guys that can help him do it. He will get it done. Well, let me let me let me make you aware uh, that we've heard excuses before, and and has has been a motion made. Well, I've done a lot of work since we were here before to clean it up and do stuff. Well, not by. I mean, sure. We saw some some of the grass cutting, but as it relates to that's uh, a that's a picture from before. We we got a lot of that that off the roof. 
No, it says it says today. There's something a little over to the left. The guy is supposed to come back and finish that. Okay. And and I got a guy down at the end of the street, the deaf that that keeps him is cutting the grass, and he he's doing it slower than I thought. There has been a motion made by huh? the council members that we will move forward uh, with this property in regards to it being a a a, a avid eyesore and has been in violation of so many of our codes that we will move forward with asking that it be dem demolished. That's our, that has been moved and seconded by this council. I'm sorry, you're saying you're going to demolish it? That's the motion. I just want you to be aware of it. And, and I, I, I'm, I'm, that, that, that's, that's a nice brick house. I, I just, I've, I've had problems with vandalism and things like that, you know. I, I will get it straight and okay. David Harris will help me. Well, it's it's in the it's in the it's in the hands of the council members to vote right now, but if we vote in the affirmative, then Mr. Green will tell you your options of of from from this point. Will you, Mr. Green, make him aware if, if his option? If the I can't, I can't votes, hear what you're saying. I'm saying the council is going to vote on the motion, and if the council affirms the the uh, motion, then Mr. Green will get with you and tell you what options you have to to actually prevent us moving forward with the uh, demolition, okay? Okay. The council is ready to vote. Are the council ready to vote? Any, yeah. any, any other discussion from the council members? The motion is that uh, we will move with the recommendation of the property standards uh, to have this property uh, demolished. Please vote. That motion passes five. To zero two out of the chamber. Uh, okay, Mr. Edison, that this has been moved that we will move forward with demolition of your property. If you would visit with Mr. Green, he will tell you what options you have from here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you did not fulfill your uh, uh, commitment to this body. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, Mr. Edel. Mr. Edelin, do you understand what the chairman has just advised you of? Do you understand what the chairman has advised you of just just now? He said I can talk to Green and find out. You know, of course I can also file a lawsuit and stuff. But I'm trying to, you know, I'm pedaling fast as I can. I, I, my trucks are down, and I'm you know, just got a lot of problems. Okay, I just want to be clear that you did you do understand the instructions of the chairman. That's and correct. The instructions are talk to Green yeah. about other options. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you very much. Next case. Okay, our next case is 349 East 75th Street. Okay. Well, I have talked to Mr. Avery about the property. He's asked for 60 days to demolish the structure himself uh, or to sell, whichever comes first. So. Structure uh, is not a, a hazard to where it's falling down, and he will secure the one door that needs to be secured this week. Mr. Green and I talked about this earlier, and I will support that and make a motion that we uh, give this 60 days. Back. Move second that we will postpone this for 60 days. Are I'll there any discussion? The Councilman Corbin made the motion. Councilman Flores second the motion. Second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes five to zero, two out of the chamber today. <coughs> Any further cases, Mr. Green? November 22nd. Is the date postponed? November 21st. Okay. All righty. Thank you. That's the end of your report. Thank you, Mr. Green. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, you feel you you think you you need to speak with him? Anybody else? I will. Um, I'll get with him. On your sure. sister. Okay. All right. I just want him to know his rights. Okay. All right. We're down to. Uh, um, there's no other appeals today. I see none for tomorrow. Uh, 
So we'll hear from our uh, officers, council members, boards, committee chairs. Mr. Chairman, we will have a report from the Audit and Finance Committee tomorrow. Oh, great. Okay. Chairman, yes. We'll be uh, setting an infrastructure uh, committee meeting shortly. So. Okay, very well. <clears throat> um, I'm going to ask the clerk to. Uh, we're getting to the end of the year. We're in, and uh, the committees that have not met, I think all the committees have met this year, but those, Mr. Clerk, who have not met recently, uh, if you mind letting the chair know, so I want to I want at least clear out the year with, uh, with a, on a positive note, note as, as we have met. I think Councilman Everson set us on a good path last year, and I think we, we've kept that up, but I just need to know who have not met. In, you know, in at least the last three months, so that we could at least have them to. I would love if we could find another date for a B4 committee meeting in the next month or so. We do have some updates on some things. Okay. We get down to a lot of meetings, y'all. So we, we got to we got to balance them, which is which is you know which is business. We, we you know we here to take care of the city business, so we do that. Uh, any other? Uh, Committees need to need to speak at this time. All right. Do the clerk have a report? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I can't say because of time. I don't have a report. I don't have time. We, <laughs> wow. Okay. We within we within an hour. We can wait a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We'll we'll postpone your report <laughs> till later time. Okay. Uh, no. Additional communications? I have, I have. Please, Mayor. I have one. Uh, I did not uh, have time to send out this morning to you some events that will be taking place this week, so I wanted to make sure that you all knew that on Wednesday afternoon there will be a groundbreaking for the new soup kitchen. And of course, City of Shreveport uh, did help and support that with CDBG monies. That's so from the, the City Christian Shreveport Services. Uh, Christian Services, yeah. right. And uh, CAO Crawford is going to be there. there on my behalf for the city, and we're inviting all the council members to come since the city, city council, all of us, right. did um, support that effort with some funding. Uh, also on Thursday night, the Martin Luther King Health uh, Clinic will hold its annual meeting. I'm not sure about the table there, but I'll need to check to see what how many seats uh, we have available for that uh, particular clinic because uh, I know we support them also so uh, we'll get something out to you but I kind of want you to look at your calendars today if you will to see if you can make some of those events uh, those are the only ones I have right now Mayor, thank you and thank you for always considering the council and these endeavors absolutely You've it takes very... us all doing it together yeah. uh, I mean, that's a good gesture, though, to include the council. I mean, all the mayors have not done it all the time. Thank you. But you have been, you know, what you do is appreciate in that effort. And I'm going to follow up one more time. I'm getting ready to have a, uh, a uh, small and emerging business task force meeting. I would like to visit, I guess, with your fair share coordinator before I do that and get the document that I requested from, from her. Right, and she has it. Uh, she we has were it. trying to pull together the, the other, all departments and what all has happened with, uh, you know, our fair share and MBE. Uh, Very well. You know, providers. So I'm trying to make sure we get all of that information for you so that you'll have kind of an, an up-to-date uh, report. Sure. But she does have something already done. It's just not complete. Okay. I'll, I'll have her to get that to you. When, when you, you didn't give us a date. Well, on the I, I didn't give you a date because I, uh, you know, we we uh, expanded the committee to some, some specific uh, entities that are involved. So I wanted okay. to be prepared to before I set the date that we had the information. Yeah, uh, right. Because I mean, that's not the only thing that we discussed, but it's it's right. primary thing that right. we discussed. But it would be some, it would it would, it would most likely be in October, sometime in October. Okay. All right. And uh, do you do you have any indication of the uh, applications for the National Night Out yet? 
I mean, how are they coming in? The applications for the block, the block parties, the national out block parties. They'll be here next Tuesday, isn't it? It is. It is. Give this list. They come the police in department. Work. The police department accumulates those lists, and they'll be provided to the council. Okay. You're, you're saying applications are list. Well, I mean, they have to make an application to get on the list. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No good question. Okay. Well, they'll get that to us. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, because you know, like you, we we want to visit those out. sites. Absolutely. Absolutely. All righty. Any other reports? I mean, I'm sorry. Communication from the council members. All right. So I see no other. Business? Are there any other business from any council members? Any administration, any other business? Seeing none, this administrative council uh, conference is adjourned.